Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Victoria again, and I am here today with our friend Lisa. Can everyone say hi Lisa? Hello! So last time we were together we talked about fair ways to play. Hmm, so who remembers the three fair ways to play that we talked about? Let me give you some time to think. So, let's see. First fair way to play that we talked about is playing together. So if you have one toy and two people both want to play with it, you can both play with it at the same time. Second fair way to play is to trade. And so we see over here that the little boy has a fire truck, but now he wants to play with a dump truck instead, and so he trades it with the girl. And then the last fair way to play is to take turns. So while the girl is still playing with the yellow truck, the little boy is reading. And then when she's done, it'll be his turn. So those are the three fair ways to play. So today, let's see what Lisa is doing. Hmm. Oh, where is it? I can't find it. Oh, huh, Lisa, it sounds like you have a problem. Yeah, it's gone. Baby can't go to sleep now. Hmm, class, it sounds like... Lisa is really frustrated and she needs to calm down first. Do you guys remember the steps to calming down? Hmm, I think I hear some of you say it. You're right, she can take some belly breaths. Okay, so let's remember the steps to calming down. So the first step is she has to put her hands on her tummy and say stop. All right, Lisa, since you're having a very strong feeling right now, put your hands on your belly and say stop. Stop! Okay, now the second step is to name your feeling. So Lisa, how are you feeling? I feel frustrated. And then the third step is to take belly breaths. All right, Lisa, let's take some belly breaths. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. All right, Lisa, now that you're calm, I need you to use your words and tell me what happened, okay? Okay. Well, I was trying to put the baby to bed for a nap, but I can't find the baby's blanket anywhere. I looked and looked. Wow, Lisa, good job. You just used your word to tell me what the problem is, and now I can help you. Hmm, let's see. What can we do? Why don't I go with you to find your blanket? Okay, let's go. Well, boys and girls, Lisa, after she calmed down, was able to tell me her problem in a calm and respectful voice. And because she was very calm, I was able to understand what happened and I was able to help her. So the first step to solving a problem is actually to use your words and to say what the problem is. Okay, so we're gonna um, we're gonna play a little game right now just to practice using our words to solve a problem. Okay, are you ready? I want you to sit there and count to ten while I get Gregory and Lisa. Okay. Alrighty, are you guys ready? All right, this game is called the problem spotting game, and you are the problem spotter. And your job is to figure out what the problem is and to put it into words, okay? All right, so everyone say hi to Lisa again. Hello. And Gregory. Hello. Yay, they're both here today. All right, now Gregory and Lisa are going to tell you a story about a problem that they had, okay? And then your job is to figure out how to say it into words, okay? Ready. Lisa and I were riding the bikes. I re really wanted to ride the blue bike. It's the only blue bl bike at school. But I wanted to ride it too, and I got it first. Hmm, what's the problem? I'm gonna give you some time to think. I 
think I hear some of you say it. You're right, they both want the blue bike. Let's see what happens next. I want to push Gregory. Boys and girls, what would happen if Lisa pushed Gregory? How would Gregory feel? Probably really upset and really angry, right? Is that a good way to solve the problem? No, probably not, right? Let's see. Hmm. Put your thinking caps on. What's another thing that they can do? Can they find some fair ways to play? Yeah. So let's see. Can you think of can you think of a fair way for them to play with the blue bike? That's right, I think I hear some of you say it. They can take turns or they can trade or somehow they can play together, right? Like maybe Gregory can ride the bike first and then Lisa chases him and then it'll be Lisa's turn to ride the bike and then Gregory races after her. Wouldn't that be fun? See, saying the problem is the first step to solving the problem, right? And their problem was that they both wanted the blue bike and then we could figure out fair ways to play with the blue bike. All right, boys and girls, thank you for sticking with me today. So today we talked about using our words to say the problem and that's the first step to solving our problems, okay? So during the next video, we're gonna talk about the next step to solving problems. Okay, it was really good to see you guys. I hope you're doing well and I miss you and I hope you're having fun and learning and also um, enjoying your time at home.